So this is a piece that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace in my local area for 10 bucks. It is not in perfect condition. It is a fixer upper, but nonetheless, that's what I was looking for to make it to my liking and on a good budget. So uh, this is the point that I have taken it outside. I have sprayed it down with a white gloss paint that I purchased from Walmart all the way around. Now, I don't know what happened on the very top. When I bought it, it was this way. Like, the very top of it, the varnish had been off or something. But I, what I'm going to do is just use this that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. It's like a peel and stick wallpaper type material. And it was just $1.25 each. So, once everything completely dries on the couple coats that I put on, I'm going to apply this. Okay, so at this point, I have applied it. I was trying to cut it on the edge there and make it perfectly straight where it overlapped a little bit. And it just, it had a little air bubble in the center, which I didn't see until later on. And then the piece did not cut perfectly well as i wanted so right now there will be pieces on top decorative pieces on top of the table so it will be fine for the moment but i am going to go purchase another two sheets from dollar tree and i'm going to correct that i'm going to put it back on the top but right now i am pretty pleased for a ten dollar piece um i painted the handles the silver color they were black I covered the piece in high gloss white, did a couple coats there, and then the very top I used that wallpaper decorative contact paper type material from the Dollar Tree, which I will be doing the same design, but I will be putting it over the top again to where it don't have the bubble or the cut. But the decorative pieces that I have in my entryway are covering it up at the time, especially the bubble. So I am pretty proud with the way that this turned out, especially with the silver handles and the white. I feel like it's popping really well, and I'm really proud of that. Next up, I want to share this recipe. I ground up some almonds, walnut, pumpkin seed mix, a little bit of fruit pieces in there, not many. I tried to grind it up as best as I could with my Ninja Blender. And then next, I'm going to take like two and a half tablespoons of the zero calorie granular sweetener. And I took about four and a half tablespoons of this grass fed salted butter that I purchased from Walmart, melted completely, mixed all that together, pressed it down into my cake pan. The recipe called to bake at 325 for 8 to 10 minutes. I did change the temperature to 350 because it just really wasn't moving along with the 325. I've taken it out after 10 minutes at this point and it browned up on the edges really well. I'm going to let this cool off for about 30 to 45 minutes before I put my cold yogurt on top of that. In the meantime, I have these blackberries and then I'm going to take a little cup of strawberries and blueberries that I purchased from Walmart. I'm going to chop these up into this bowl and this is going to be the centerpiece of the pie. And then to assemble the pie more after my fruit, before I put the fruit in actually, I'm going to use this plain Greek non-fat or low-fat yogurt. It just has two grams of sugar. That's Greek low-fat yogurt, Friendly Farms from Aldi. And then because it is the plain yogurt, I'm going to add 100% pure maple syrup into that as well. Now, the reason being is because the sugar-free low-calorie, I didn't notice that when I bought it, it has artificial flavor, and it has aspartame. Now, it has been proven that aspartame does raise your blood sugar, if that is what you're looking to avoid. And it does have artificials, which I knew it did have artificials when I bought it. I wasn't crazy about that. Um, if that doesn't bother you, if you're okay with the aspartame, then you can use this Vermont sugar-free butter-flavored syrup. I didn't want any of that. So that's why I opted for the 100% pure maple. Even though it does have sugar, I like the fact that it's pure. So this is assembled now. I placed my yogurt over my cool down crust. And then I assembled the berries, the blackberries, the blueberries, and the strawberries, all diced on top of the pie. 
And then I added some maple syrup just for a little bit of sweetness. And I think this is going to be a great addition, especially when I want, I'm having a sweet tooth. I've got the yogurt, I've got the berries, and I've got the homemade crust made from all those good nuts and seeds. Uh, thank you so much for watching today's video, especially if you have made it this far. Please drop a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching.